on the market. Sea kites, bow or flat kites, and hybrid kites. Let's take a look at each of these different styles of kites and generalize some of the characteristics of these kites. Sea kites are the oldest design. They've been out for a while and they're traditionally a very C shape in the air. They have a lot of curve to them. Um, the advantages and disadvantages of a sea kite would include uh, advantages of a sea kite is that they're very affordable, generally the most affordable style. So for those on a tighter budget, this is the design you're gonna be looking at. Um, they stay powered up during aggressive turns, turns, so you can turn the kite real aggressively and maintain power throughout the turn. They tend to have a lot of upwind drive. And the bad things about a sea kite are that they don't depower as much as the other types of kites we'll be talking about. So they have a limited wind range. Um, safety wise, they're the most unsafe because they don't depower all the way and they are the hardest kite to water relaunch. Um, the reason you would mostly want a sea kite would be for those on a tight budget, low cost alternative to more modern kites, but also if you're a wave kiter or you're just looking for a real aggressive style of flying kite, that would be your kite. The second style of kite we're going to talk about is the largest group of kites available today, and that's a bow kite or a flat kite. Uh, this technology, invented by Cabrina Kites when they came out with the crossbow, has been adapted by nearly every manufacturer on the planet and has been shortened as the bow kite. Now, a bow kite has an advantage over a sea kite in the fact that it can be depowered 100%. Essentially, a bow kite has the ability to turn it off and on, to kill the power with the kite in the air 100%. Um, the other feature that a bow kite has is it can water relaunch with great ease, less time crashing and having the kite in the water, more time with the kite in the air flying it. The wind range of a bow kite is it greatly enhanced, particularly in gusty wind conditions. And now you still need more than one kite to cover the wind range, but the usable wind range of each kite is, is greatly enhanced with that feature of having a flat or a bow-shaped kite. Um, not quite as curved as a sea kite. The third style of kite, which just came out in recent years, is a hybrid kite, which falls somewhere in between a sea kite and a bow kite. So they have more of the shape of a sea kite, more curved, not as flat. Um, they are characterized by having a small limited bridle on the kite, and they would have 100% deep power like a bow kite. So all of the safety features of a bow kite but a lot of the performance advantages of a sea kite. Um, they also instantly relaunch, reverse launch off the water, so they're very easy to water relaunch. So if your budget allows, you want to get the newest kite technology available. Used kites are out there. Um, because the technology changes on a regular basis, there are a lot of used equipment available. Um, I would urge you to stay away from used equipment whenever possible. Yes, you will save some money buying a used kite, but you will often get older outdated equipment that doesn't have the latest safety technology and a kite as it ages could risk blowing out a seam as they age so you may wind up buying and investing in something that appeared to save you money in the beginning but in the end would cost you more money so always buy the latest kite available and hopefully now you understand the three primary styles or types of kites that are out there and if one wanted to ride aggressively and was on a budget and didn't mind the physical exertion, get a sea kite. If you want to have more control over the power of the kite, buy a bow kite. And if you want performance and safety combination, you should look at a newer hybrid style kite that's on the market. select the proper kite size. The second thing is to select the right kite type and realize there are three main types out there. And then the third thing is to select the right aspect ratio for your riding preferences. So I hope this information has been helpful for you today. And I would also like to suggest that you consult with a kiteboarding instructor or preferably a kiteboarding shop who has first-hand experience with actually flying the products and can guide you through the selection process. Here at Kitty Hawk Kites, we would love to guide you in the selection of the finest kiteboarding equipment available. You can reach us at 877-FLY-THIS, or you can go to our website, kittyhawkkites.com, and check us out on our live chat feature, or drop us an email, chris at kittyhawk.com. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you've enjoyed how to choose a kiteboarding kite. 